Let's go, it's your man Mike Bowens coming to you once again live and direct. Listen, I got another powerful message for you. This message is entitled, Be Anxious for Nothing. Be Anxious for Nothing. In Philippians chapter 4 verse 6, one of my favorite scriptures, it says, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, and with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. See, thanksgiving is right upon us. And a lot of people right now, they're frazzled, they're frustrated, they, they, their mind is just going a thousand, uh, thousand different directions. But the scripture tells you how to be anxious for nothing. How not to let the cares of the world choke you. How not to let what you see on television take you over. How not, how not to let the circumstances of life just demolish you and pummel you. Right? It says, let your requests be made known unto God. Right? Whatever it is that you're facing, whatever challenges that you're going through, right? Let your re request be made known unto God. And this is something that I take very seriously because there's things in my, that's out of my power. There's certain things that's out of my control. But I know that everything is under God's power. And so by me consistently putting those requests in for things that I know that I cannot control and then not worrying about it, worrying about how it's going to happen, just controlling the things that I know I can do. Right? I know I can get up here every day and make videos. I know I can sit down and write my books. I know I can um, do these other businesses that I have. But how it turns out, all I can do is pray about that. And have faith that God's going to blow upon it and it's going to do well. Right? So, so the things in your life that you know you cannot control, the things in your life you know you cannot um, necessarily make happen, right? You, you do your part and then God does His part. But the part that I want to really emphasize on today is letting your mind be free, right? You're, anxious, you're not anxious for nothing. See, anxiety is like you, you don't know what's going to happen, so you're always wondering, is this going to work out? Is this going to work out? How's my future going to be? Am I going to get the job? I'm going to stay in the job. I'm going to stay in my house. Like you're constantly worried. You're going from the next thing to the next thing. You have no peace. And the Bible says that peace, right? Peace is one of the greatest assets that mankind has ever been given. When you have peace, the storm can be going on all around you. But when you have inner peace, it doesn't matter what's going on around you, as long as it does not get inside of you. And so, by making your request known to God, it's like, hey, I know that those things that I cannot control, He's working on it. The things that I cannot handle, I give it over to Him. And I stay in peace. Because guess what? Can you add any more hairs to your head? Can you count all the hairs on your head? I know some of you like, Mike, I only got a few hairs on my head. I can count those. But can you count every hair follicle? Can you count every hair follicle on your eyebrows? The scripture tells us don't worry. Because if God counts all the hairs on our head and every hair follicle on our face, right? Then he knows everything about you. He knows what you're going through. He knows the frustration that you're feeling. He knows the pain that you may be feeling. He knows the disappointments that you may be feeling. And so you cast it over to him, right? And then guess what? You leave it up to him and then you walk in peace. You ask him to fill you with peace, love, and joy, right? And you enjoy every moment that you're living, every breath that you're taking in. You, in, you remember to enjoy that because tomorrow is not promised. And so every single day is a blessing from God that you're alive, that you're awake, that you're above, above ground, right? And things may not have worked the way you wanted in the past, but guess what? Today's a new day, right? And tomorrow's a new day, right? And so I just really want to encourage somebody out there to be anxious for nothing, right? Who's the president? Who's not the president? Uh, what are they doing in the world today, right? There's always going to be some type of bad news. We can't control that. But the thing that we can't control is what we choose to think on. Right? Choose to think on good thoughts, pure thoughts, things that are lovely, things of pure, things of good report. Right? And so I really want to encourage somebody right now, right, to focus on those things, things that are good. Until next time, this is your man Mike Bowens. I'm signing off saying be blessed.